So I'm back today to show you a quick demonstration I do in class regarding the Foku pendulum. And it's a very simple setup. I have a Lazy Susan set up with marker caps equally spaced around the circumference. Lazy Susans rotate, so this is gonna imitate the rotation of the planet. I'm gonna spin this counterclockwise. My mass in the center is quite heavy and it's attached to a pretty decent sized lever arm to my ductwork. Now there's a lot of friction at the ductwork but I'm not looking to have the swing freely for a big distance. I just need this enough to be able to go through my demonstration, which it does rather nicely. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give the mass a little bit of a push and the order of the caps getting knocked over, you're gonna get a cap knocked over on the upswing and then a cap knocked over on the backswing. And as I rotate this counterclockwise around, you will see the order of the caps. As I rotate this counterclockwise, the caps get knocked over in a clockwise direction. The Lazy Susan goes counterclockwise, the caps get knocked over clockwise. So let me demo this. So pretty decent demo there. Again, it just shows the order. That's the big thing I'm trying to get across here is the order. Obviously this is not scientifically set up to be correct imitation of Foucault's pendulum, just the way it's set up in the classroom. But I think it's a decent enough demonstration that shows the kids the order of the pins getting knocked over and also just kind of what this proves. The big thing about this is proving that the earth rotates. So hopefully this works out in your classroom and we'll see you soon with the next demonstration.